of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the Commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. During this period of mourning and change, my family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and the deep affection in which, which the, the Queen, queen was, was widely, widely held. held. in the trust and respect of her people and that perhaps is something that not every member of her family has fully appreciated well she did in the same way that her father did and in the same way i think that uh, charles mama charlie don't die queen is dead so oh my Prince god charles, in you know, record breaking um, long seven monarch in history over 70 years set out during his uh, time as she Prince ascended the throne in 1956 and passed on 2022. Of the office and the position to which he has now God bless the Queen. God bless the royal family. She saved this country. He is now mourning the loss of, of his that mother and the loss of the Queen as he becomes king. Now we must assume that the Prime Minister Liz Truss has not, as it were, jumped the gun in naming him as King Charles the Third. It's not been confirmed by Buckingham Palace, but we must assume that that is correct. Just um, as you speak, your timing is impeccable. Uh, Clarence House has literally, in the last couple of seconds, confirmed that it is King Charles III. So, um, uh, well done on prompting that. Very good. Very good. So it is King Charles III, that's official. Um, and I'm just going to interrupt a second, Dick, if I may, because Boris Johnson, who of course was Prime Minister until just a few days ago, um, has issued this statement. Um, it's 